The Brisbane Lions fell short last round after storming home against North Melbourne. They take on a top of the table West Coast Eagles. McKeever, Polek and Hudson return for the Lions, but they'll be without veteran Simon Black, who misses with a knee injury. Despite a raft of injuries to its forward line, West Coast keeps powering on and gave Fremantle a 48-point hiding in the Western Derby last round. They lose Sam Butler to injury and Luke Shuey to suspension, with these two being replaced by Thomas Swift and Ash Hams. They are up and down on the one spot at the moment, the Eagles. Yep, they are a bit flat. They are. Drummond's capable. You bet he is. Oh, look at that. And the Lions get another for Josh Drummond. Hearn, Pat Fall guiding it back safely into hands of Polkinghorne. And they're into the 50 again. It's got all the way through almost. Hanley been redeployed into the another forward good line. Tackle. Good pressure. Buick has the responsibility and he takes it gleefully. Swift got it through to Gaff. He'll get the protection he needs. Oh, it. oh, it's a dangerous kick, but it's all right. McGinnity goes with the moment. Gaff gets it deep again. They're outnumbered. And oh. Hill has to go. He took it. He took it. Grasp. Hill puts it through, makes them pay. Zorko. They work it out the back to Drummond. Now we know about his left foot. Into the pocket. Let's see how they roll down there. Big leap from Schofield. Gaff again, Swift. Numbers with Brisbane one more time. So let's do it all again. Drummond might go for home and go for broke. And he's done it again. Big strike, Josh Drummond. Forced onto the wrong boot, which wasn't exactly what had him on. There's Kerr again. This time the speculative handball comes off and they get it through to Prittis. Wobbly old kick, no. but it's a straight one. And a response very em emphatic from the Eagles. And it's Brennan. Glass decides oh, the time to go on. is now. And Hearn can carry that with ease. Can kick that with his eyes closed, Hearn. He's put it through. Drummond, kick two. This is just beyond his range. Or is it? He decides to give it an old heave-ho. No. And it got there for his third. Brown with the acrobatics. Rich found a way. Eeks it towards goal. Stuff. Hudson Cox Selwood only had a split second to sum it up and he got the roll he got the roll he needed and they're back in front Brisbane they've got the opportunity here as it breaks through the middle of the ground Zorko heaves it into the 50 Merritt and Glass he held his ground Footy by the super sub. Thumps it as far as he humanly can. Up towards the 50, McKeever. Darling, Darling's got the run of it. He gets it towards goal. One more and he'll finish them off. And it's touched. <laughs> In the 11th hour, it is touched on the line. Here they go, Drummond. Great Play desperation on. from the Irishman. And they're out down the middle. Rich takes the mark. Crowd on their feet. He kicks the centre half forward. There's still one more chapter to be played, perhaps, in this game. Polkinghorne chances his arm, gets it to Adcock. The handball's got through. Long kick to the forward. It's going to go. It's Polkinghorne. They're in front. Pandemonium at the gather. Golby, the Brisbane fans say, blow the bloody siren. He kicks it to the wing, and the mark is taken by Adcock. And they're going to get their wish. The siren's got to ring out around the gabba. This is why we love this game. What a win to the Brisbane Lions. They've got home. What a sensational victory. Eight goals in the last quarter. Astonishing. The Lions continued a weekend of upsets, coming from 21 points down to seal an incredible two-point win. 
Eight goals to five in an extraordinary final term will give the Lions plenty of belief as they look ahead to the second half of the season.